Hello. Astrid, this is a Dark Brotherhood sanctuary, the one in Falkreath. Uh, Astrid, well, what's happened is, uh, what's his name, the little annoying guy has uh, gone a little bit wild, and he's... Uh, sliced up the Argonian fella and tried to to kill Astrid and I'm in the wrong place. I thought that door led to what's his name's bedroom. Obviously it didn't. There we are. Whoa, the fire door. Mm, um, the do do do. Cicero's Journal, final volume. I have written the letters, so polite, so official, to Astrid in Skyrim. Her sanctuary still stands, still operates. But how? No listener means no black sacrament. No black sacrament means no contracts. Her family can abandon the old ways and still survive, still kill. But is that family still brotherhood or something else? Something new, something different, something wrong. Something wrong. Still, we must go. Tomorrow we set sail, float on the boat, through the moat, call the sea, her and me. Sick, sick, sick of the rocking, tossing, rolling, throwing upon the gray, gray waves. I've been reading of Skyrim, of the good days, the old days, of the old ways. There was another sanctuary once, a Dawnstar sanctuary, good, ancient, and strong, blessed by Thyssus. Cicero will go there, no need of Astrid. The mother and I will settle, and she will speak to me finally, and we will build the old ways anew together. The past phrase is mine. I have found it in a letter ancient as the sanctuary itself. The black door will ask, What is life's greatest illusion? I am to answer innocence, my brother. Finally, a space, a place to call my own, the Joker's retreat the fool of hearts. The sanctuary is home, as I had dared hope, a cool and dark and lovely, my sanctuary, a sanctuary from all. I know it's every corner, every hall, every shadowed nook and alcove, my sanctuary. The guardians know me, recognize me as keeper. They leave poor Cicero alone, the big ugly beast, a different story. He'd eat me if he could. But to bind me, grind me, he'd need to find me, and Cicero will make sure he does not happen, for I have sanctuary, sanctuary from all. The sanctuary is safety and salvation, but silence, so silent. I give my love to the unholy matron, I give my laughter freely, but I do not hear her. The silence has returned. Now that I am laughter and no longer hear laughter, I once again hear the silence. The silence of the void, it reaches across time and space. Its silence is deafening once more. Mother and keeper must go. I am not the listener and never will be, but I am the keeper. I must serve my mother's will above my own. I must find her listener. I must teach Astrid the error of her ways, the beauty and necessity of the old ways. I have sent the letter to Astrid. We leave soon. But Cicero will keep this sanctuary as his sanctuary, a place to rest and ply my trade, for I once more take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him when laughter strikes as fits my whim.
found something. Yes. Cicero's journal. Good. Good. Does it say where he may be headed? Yes, an abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. And I have the passphrase also. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. What do we know about the Dawnstar Shadow Sanctuary? Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. Did something set Cicero off? No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Isn't there any way to work this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? Behold Shadow Mirror, that's the next thing I have to do. the whole shadow mirror now I have no interest in riding shadow mirror whatsoever because once you ride shadow mirror you are stuck with her she shows up every place you go and then eventually she gets lost and you she's gone forever should have figured Astrid would send you you're hurt what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little Chester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Where's Cicero now? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. I know the phrase. I'll get Cicero. You go home. All right. You convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. A little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. I 
I have no idea what they're talking about here. This makes no sense whatsoever. Innocence, my brother. Innocence obviously exists. It's obviously... And of course that makes good sense. saying is correct. He is the keeper. He's an official long-time keeper, has been for a long time. And I have been chosen as the listener. And we've got no business killing each other. correct in saying that. What he's saying is correct.
Well, <laughs> I can't say that I blame you about that. I'm no fan of his either. Remaining silent. Oh, you prefer to listen, eh? Of course. The listener, yeah. The listener listens. Yeah, of course. A joke. A funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked the strumpet pastor, and I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. Well, actually, you may be an irritating Cicero, but you're actually correct. is leading the Brotherhood astray. to go clean up inventory before I go back to Astrid. So I'm going to go here and clean up inventory between sessions. <laughs> 